This is my presentation, Flight Safety on Rejected Takeoffs. Today we're going to be discussing Rejected Takeoffs. There's two types of regime in a Rejected Takeoff. There's a low speed and high speed. Low speed is below 80 knots. Anytime that you're below 80 knots, you can, uh, if you have like a master caution going off or loud noise or unusual vibrations, then you know that there's something wrong and it would be safe at that point to go ahead and abort the takeoff. You would uh, alert the tower and tell them that uh, you're boarding takeoff and then you would taxi off the runway and investigate the problem. High speed is a little bit different and that's up to 80 knots, anything above 80 knots to V1. If uh, you had like an engine failure or a fire or airplane unsafe, unable to fly, such as you know, airspeed indicator dropping off to, to uh, some erroneous value due to microburst or whatever that might take place, it might not be safe to go ahead and continue the takeoff that time you'd want to abort the takeoff. The uh, captain makes the decision to abort all takeoffs. And how this is uh, accomplished is when the captain has determined to abort the takeoff, he will reach over if it's the co-pilot that's flying and put his hand on top of the throttles and tell the first officer when the captain is assured that he has control of the airplane I've got the airplane. The first officer will slip his hands out underneath the captain's on the throttle and when he know, feels that the captain has assumed control so there's no more misunderstanding, the first officer will say you've got the airplane. This is no miscommunication on who's actually operating the aircraft at that time. So again, the captain makes the decision to abort all takeoffs. So what we'll do today is we're going to get lined up on the runway. We'll do the before takeoff checklist. Once we get that taken, we'll uh, contact the tower, get clearance for takeoff. The uh, pilot flying will push the throttles up. Pilot flying will call trim throttles. Pilot not flying will say throttles are trimmed. Pilot not flying at 80 knots. Give an 80 knot call. This is a normal takeoff. Somewhere between 80 knots and V1, we're going to have a failure. It will be either fire or the engine. When either pilot determines that this condition exists, fire or engine failure, they will call it out. At that time the captain will make the decision to abort the takeoff. And when he does assume control of the aircraft, he's going to simultaneously close throttles, auto throttles off, max brakes. That's all in one maneuver, nice and smooth. He's going to check that the ground spoilers are extended, and if they're not, he will manually extend those. Reverse thrust will be used as directional control allows. When we hit start to slow, when we get to 60 knots, the pilot not flying will call 60 knots. He will remove the reverse thrust. So, that time you're going to come to a stop on the runway. You will advise the tower that you've aborted takeoff. And you can also at that time ask them if they see smoke or fire. Give us a clue of the condition of the aircraft, if they can see something. We will also need to make sure they call out the emergency crew and notify the company. We will contact the flight attendant on the interphone. And what we're doing is we want to find out if there's anything unusual, let them know that we've had an engine failure or engine fire. If they smell something, see something, that can give us a clue of what's going on back on in the cabin. 
We will tell the flight attendants that we're going to make a PA announcement to the passengers. And we will tell the passengers to please remain seated, that uh, to follow all directions from a uniform crew member. Well, once we've got that taken care of, we're going to move to the emergency checklist. If we had an engine failure, we'll go through the engine failure checklist. And we will uh, also determine if evacuation is needed. And if evacuation is needed, we'll go through the evacuation checklist. Uh, if evacuation is not needed, then we'll be concerned about brake cooling charts, temperatures as well. When the uh, crews show up to the aircraft on the outside, we can have them uh, look for anything that's on fire, anything that's smoking, and uh, maybe at that time we can determine whether we still need to evacuate the aircraft or not. So anyway, this concludes my presentation for flight safety on rejected takeoffs. Thank you very much.